Hello, my name is Lorraine Moore, and today I have the honor of representing Avian Fashions. Today we want to talk to you about a very special product that we have just come to market with. For months, our customers have been asking us to come up with a product that can protect the bird's upper wings and even a little bit of the neck area. So after a lot of tweaking, we have come up with what we call our DIY poncho. And it looks like this. It's made out of micro fleece, so it's very soft and cozy. It has an adjustable neck with a bolo bead on the back. It is meant to either go over your bird's head and be worn by itself, or if you are already a product, you already have our product as a feather protector or the flight suit, and you notice your bird nibbling or chewing on those, it can go over and protect the top of the flight suit or the feather protector. It comes in a variety of sizes. Our largest size is our colossal size. And our smallest size is our lovebird size, extra small. The large size, as you can see here, is double-sided, double-layered micro fleece. And the smallest one still has the same little drawstring bolo neck, so it's adjustable with a little bit of Velcro, but is single-layered because these birds cannot handle as much weight. Now, the DIY poncho got its name because we wanted to come up with a product that we could sell to you where you could adjust it and customize it to suit your bird's individual needs. So with the DIY poncho, you have a choice of getting it plain, like I showed you right here, or you could get the grommets placed in it, like this one that I'm showing you right here. The grommets allow you to put fabric, cording, or beads through the grommets and entertain your bird while you're protecting that vulnerable area. And the grommets actually go on the sides for the large birds and also in the center. The DIY poncho kit is what's available with the grommets. And in this poncho kit, we have beads, fabric, and cording to give you kind of variety, get you started. At home, use your imagination. You can try string, paper, different uh, textures of fabric, and simply put them through the grommets, tie a little knot, and see what your bird likes. When you put that fabric and beads through the grommets, it will look something like this. Very cute. You can put the beads at the end, you have the fabric, and sometimes birds love leather too, so we do include uh, leather in the kit for the larger birds. Now the amazing thing about this DIY poncho is it has an adjustable neck, slips over the head, but you can trim it if you need to. If you find it's a little too heavy, a little too long, you can trim it without any problem. You can fringe the top of the DIY poncho. And just to make sure that they're a good candidate for the DIY poncho, you want to make sure your bird is hand tame, used to being handled like Madeline is. Thank you, Madeline. And that they don't mind something going over their head. So to make sure that that is okay for your bird, you can either take just a simple piece of uh, paper towel, put a hole in it, or a piece of fabric, pop it over your bird's head, and see how they adjust to wearing something, how they adjust to the weight. If they acclimate fine to that, and they don't seem to be stressed, then they're a great candidate for the DIY poncho. Now with all of our products, we recommend conditioning time. It's very important. So take that poncho, pin it onto your shirt, let them see it for four or five days, play peekaboo with it, stroke them at night with it while you're watching TV. The more they get used to this as a part of you before it goes onto them, the less stress they'll be. So let's try it on Madeline now. Madeline, are you ready? Come on down. Oh, she's, she's very happy up here. Come here, Madeline. When you try that little poncho on, make sure you have your treats nearby. You want to offer them treats and also a lot of verbal praise and tell them they're doing a great job. I'm going to put this poncho on over Madeline, uh, over her flight suit, but like I said, you could wear it solo or even over a feather protector. 
Okay, Madeline, let's show them how it's done here. So you're going to open up that little micro fleece neck with the bolo back. Open up as wide as you can get it. It's very stretchy. Put your hand into it. Here, Madeline, you're holding on my finger. Thank you, Madeline. And you want that cording to go in the back of your bird. So you just simply pull it down over the neck. Let's turn this way so they can see Malin. And you can put it down below the crop, or if your bird chews on the crop, you can actually keep it up a little bit higher. You can double it, or you can keep it single layer up on the neck. You're going to just tie it. You're going to just pull that little bead up and adjust the neck. If you need to snip these and make them a little shorter and tie a knot, that's no problem. But what we recommend for these little uh, cordings is to just take them and loop them underneath and put them back into the poncho. The birds love to chew on these little cordings, and that's okay, but it's a little bit less distracting for them if you just put them inside the poncho itself. And there she is. And you can just, come here, Madeline. You can keep it high like this, or if you want, you can loosen that up and you can double layer that neck. Just like this. They really like to have something cozy around them. And it does protect the upper chest, upper back, top of the wings, and the neck. So thank you very much. We do have a Facebook page now specifically for pluckers and pickers. It's called POP, or Parents of Pluckers. Feathers optional, right, Madeline? And we'd love to have you tune in and write your comments on there. Or if you have any questions about this product or any of our products, our toll-free number is 888-412-7667. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye, Madeline. Can you say goodbye? Can you say bye-bye? Have a great day. Wave. Say bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. That's it. Good. Or are you going to dance? What are you going to do? You want to dance? You're a good dancer.